Yeah, nice, really, really nice. As <laughs> another car does that, I have absolutely no idea why they're doing that. Maybe the road's blocked or <laughs> I don't know why he <laughs> did that. Try to ruin my video. Hi everyone. Hi, it's Shea Samra X. I'm in the world of GTA Online. Here with another GTA Online video. Out driving around in GTA Online in the city. Try to drop off over here at the Pipeline Inn. Get a coffee. Drive my new vehicle which is on offer this week at the LS Custom Car Meet and on Legendary Motorsport. So I thought to myself, well, let's do my first customization video, my first impression of the vehicle, all that good stuff. So the test will entail five areas. First being sand, in the water on the motorway, in town, on the grass. Be quite quick road tests, just a general idea how it feels, how it handles. Then we'll take it to the custom shop, get it modified up and we'll see how it copes and if it's still viable or if it ever was viable to be used in GT Online because it is our older vehicle in GT Online. And actually, we've, I'm sure a lot of us have played this vehicle and used this vehicle in other GTA series as well. So let's go and check it out. Yeah, so let's go and check it out. It is the Vapid Bullet GT. It is 77.5k on the website this week. Normally 155 it is a super class two door sports coupe and also has had a been superseded by the FMJ, which is an RV cult that been added to GT Online over the years. You can find it on Leisure More Sport two door. And it's the second slowest supercar in the game, so it's got a lot going for it. <laughs> Generally, I think it looks quite cool. I like, I like the way it looks. I think they're right, though. I don't think it's particularly fast. I think it's pretty. It's got a good handling traits on it. So uh, let's go and have a look what it's like inside. So we'll open all the doors, see how interactive it is. So we don't get him at the front here, that would probably be where the fan is and where the radiators are and all that. We go to the we go to the inside the vehicle, let's have a proper look by aiming the, the a weapon in there. Not a too much fan of the gear stick there. Nice pedals, door cards present, engine model itself. Yep, you can see the subframe to the left and right, the supporting structure for the engine. Yeah, it's pretty good for the gear car it is. And also the door card there. Which also has the mirror switch to control the mirrors. I see their mirrors, so they're on both sides of the vehicle. I guess the passenger would like to control the exterior mirrors as well, in case they want to look at themselves. Let's get inside the vehicle, have a quick look at it. We have quite a large radio interface here. I like the dashboard. Door cards match the vehicle. Bullet sign on the dashboard, pretty cool. Really like the seats, the seats look nice. And we've got the rear valance cover there, which the mirror shows us what's behind. Not a very great graphical detail, you think of the higher graphics, extent banded. Ex expanded and enhanced edition the mirrors would work but maybe you can see there just as not been added to this part of the game. Pretty plain, pretty cool. So 
So as I said, I'll now move on to the five parts of the road test. I'll keep them quite short. And uh, hopefully it's helpful. So let's get on to the next part of the video. So here you go. First two tests rolled into one. Sand and uh, water. A lot of fun with sand. Not particularly fast. But if we accelerate, we don't spin out. If we turn, all controllable. No issues with the steering. I can go where I want to go. Brakes seem to be okay, not too bad in the sand either. I think I can go pretty deep into the water here. But also not too deep because the vehicle is quite light. Yeah, it was okay. Okay. Yep, uh, fun in the sand. Can do a wee bit of water things with it. Let's try the next section. So let's give the motorway drive a little go. Really slow. Oof. Take a long time to build up speed. I'm not particularly impressed with the, how wide the vehicle is as well. Really wide. Anyway, I've got no confidence going between the cars there, you know. Yeah, yeah, not. Brakes. Mm, brakes are average. Under acceleration, the car's pretty stable. But I think it's got the same characteristics, you know, if you're not smooth, you'll spin the car out. Hmm, slow accelerating, slow top end, handlings, it can, you can actually troll a bow for a long way, as long as you're accelerating, as soon as you like the accelerator, you're, you're in trouble. Here we go, off-road test. I don't think this vehicle will be okay this because it's quite up. Yeah, grinding out there, did you hear it grinding out? Also, that's your acceleration, wheel spinning, not got, losing a lot of grip. And if I go alongside, you can see how the car's fitting. I, th I would dare say this car would do if you're in trouble, but it really isn't happy here. First bump to come along, the nose is going to go right into the ground, and uh, you have to recover from that. So, if you're trying to get away from any police helicopters or something like that, then this isn't the car to do it off road. A dirt trail road test. We'll go up the dirt trail, see how this car deals going up the trail. Pretty difficult. Still possible, the car's still doing it. Let's see what we're like going downhill. Yeah, it's not happy at all there. Hmm, not a good test at all for the city. Turn by turn, see how the car deals with that situation. Uh, this is more of a kind of city control, they control it in the city. A normal rear wheel drive vehicle, it's got the, you see that it's wheel spit when I'm. I have to go into the pavement there just to dodge it. Okay, lampposts. Oh, yeah, that's horrible. Take this right turn. Yeah, see, the cars feel really wide. No confidence in this whatsoever in the city. Why don't you open your eyes, bitch? You are <laughs> You're lucky I'm in the middle of a video, hen. 
but there you are. You can you see how the car handles. It's yeah, it's got <laughs> it's not great in the city either. I guess you could have a lot of fun with it if uh, you're not in a rush to be anywhere. You just tap the tap the handbrake and get the back end out. But it's still not the most efficient way around the city. So here we are at Los Santos Customs. Let's get this car modified. Let's see what we can do with this vehicle. And then after we get out the customization, we'll wait till it gets sun sh sun gets out again, and we'll have another go at all the things we just did. I'll tell you what, pretty cheap repair. We sold it. We get just under fifty k for it. We bought it for seven seventy seven and a half k. So let's do everything first, let's do the brakes, the engine, because why wouldn't we operate the engine to the fastest it can go? Just looking at that engine gives me a hard on. Calm down son, calm down. Play it. I think everyone in online does black, yellow and black. Suspension, now this is where people may differ. If I put this into competition, suspension, it could the handling, let's see how it goes. I would think that's a touch too low. But let's try it. Transmission to the fastest. Race transmission. Oh yeah, of course we want a uh, turbo in there. No, we'll not bother with the armour, I'll show the prices. Explosives. Horn, it's all the same kind of stuff. Lights, I'll put some Xenon lights on. Not a lot of difference, but it doesn't make it look a touch newer. Neon kits, you can also buy the layouts and then you can add the colour. Done the plate, the side of the colour. Actually saw a colour I quite liked. I was gonna go for a quite a, a quite a a white, a nice white. Looks quite cool in this vehicle. Let's see if can we actually put perilous and we can. Ooh. We put chameleon on as well. Oh wow! Yeah, that, I love that. Pretty cool. Personally, if you're on. Not on the jet next gen consoles, you can't do this kind of paintwork. Let's check out the wheels, we can get all the regular kind of wheels. All look pretty nice, I like all these ones, they all look great. Even the ones I can't get. Always the cheetah carbons always look great in all these cars. Trailer. 
tuners don't look particularly great. Tracks look really nice. I'm going to go for the gravel traps. I'm going to change the wheels to hopefully they, they have them here, the right ones. And we can also put the tire enhancements like bulletproof tires. They won't shoot these out. Just a bit. I think it's just a bit too much there. I don't kind of actually starting to get go off the wheels already. <laughs> and uh, I'm all the 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 windows out. No. Oh. And they said that we're going to just wait for the to get a bit more daylight rather than go this. So here we are. Let's go and give us a car and our drive. Still a big vehicle. Spent a lot of money on it as well, I just noticed. Nice noise about it. I'm still kind of worried about these cars getting my way. Um, no, I'm never. No, not worried about these cars not getting my way. Ooh, brakes are horrendous. Car looks nice though. I like the way it looks. And see, I've just not got the confidence to get past this car. Oof. Let's see how it, let's see how it goes by these corners. I was worried about these cars, you know, I, what I mean is uh, whenever I see a car on the road I'm worried how I'm going to get past it. It's got a wee bit more response about it. We're not going to go on the off-road there because uh, the result's going to be the same but it's just going to have a wee bit more power to fight about the place. So let's go on the motorway, see how it is in the motorway. Nice dump valve, I like the noise of dump valve. Still slow though. Yeah, this this hasn't been a good use of the money at all I spent on this vehicle. A lot more unsettled as well. Mm, that was with the power on. I was provoking the back end there. Ugh, feels horrible. So here we go, the end of the video. Amazing time to end the video when it's like this, rain is like this, but we all know what GTA Online trip winners like. Here we are with the final summation of the vehicle. Now, I really, really do like how this looks. The alley wheels have grown on there, the shape, the colour, the way it spans on the roads. It just sits brilliantly, but the vehicle is just too wide for GT Online. Look at how wide, how wide it is. I, was, I never stopped going on about it when I was driving it in the city. Far too wide. Far too slow as well. Acceleration wise. Top end. Really doesn't keep up with the cars in 2022. This will be going to my garage. Part of the collection. I might bring it out every once in a while. Because it is a bit of fun on the sand as you saw. The powers maybe that it does have just makes it really not great in the motorway. You see the back end stepped out, it wasn't doing that before. But the power once I put the power on and once I've lowered the vehicle it just handling is kind of not great in it. Coupled with the with the vehicle and how slow it is. I can't recommend this vehicle guys, I'm sorry. I'm really glad that I do this though, to test drive it, to modify it, 
not something I've ever done before. I wouldn't have ever done it if I hadn't done it for this video. I've been pleasantly surprised by say, the shape of it. I love the owner of Harley Kiss in real life, the shape of it, the way it's done. Yeah, nice, really, really nice. As <laughs> another car does that, I have absolutely no idea why they're doing that. Maybe the road's blocked or <laughs> I don't know why he <laughs> did that. Try to ruin my video. But yeah, hopefully this is entertaining. Hope you enjoyed it. Lots more videos coming on the channel on lots of games. Only leaves me thank you for choosing and watching this channel and this video. But for me, G Samurai X, the video is done and uh, G Samurai X, and I'm out.